Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 15 of my Football Manager 2016 Let's Play with Ingolstadt. Today we've got a couple of important games. It seems as though we just always play important games, <laughs> but like last two games... Uh, in the last episode, obviously, were two losses, so very disappointing. We can't have that again. Four losses in a row would be terrible, even just three, so I don't really want that. Well, once again, uh, like earlier in the season, if we go up, uh, we had a bad run. You can see three losses in a row there. We have patches of winning and patches of losing, as you can see, but with that amount of wins we're still getting... Obviously, a bit misleading there with some friendlies, but yeah, it's still we've still been good enough in the league. You can see we're 11th at the minute. I'd like to keep that safe mid-table position, being a bit realistic now, knowing we're not going to get uh, Europa League most likely unless we go on a really good run of form, which could very well still happen. Not going to yeah throw that opportunity away, most definitely. Not going to discard it. It's still a possibility, so I'm going to try and win games. And of course, you know, earlier today I uploaded that video, uh, like a channel update kind of thing, asking questions for a QA. and uh, The response was absolutely fantastic, i got to say. And of course, that was always going to happen. A few people unsubscribed. It was not, I wouldn't say it's major, but that was expected to me. So I always knew that would be the case. But what I was surprised was with the actual overall uh, response. Like, it was actually better than I would imagine. Like, poof. Oh, most definitely, like, there's over 100 comments, like, of questions for me to do in a QA and a uh, and a lot of likes on the video and minimal dislikes, so it puts me in a good mood to make a video, even though I was a bit tired when recording that video, you might have uh, been able to tell that, sometimes I am, uh, but that's the thing, uh, when I didn't do face cam previously, you wouldn't really tell that, uh, so that's the thing as well, but I just wanted to say thank you uh, if you left a, a comment and a like on that video, because I'm, it put me really in the mood to make another video today, most definitely. I just, I was really uh, anxious is like a bad term, but I was like really anxious to make a, another video, but not in a bad way, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that's the right word. Like, I was like, I guess excited, but like in kind of nervous way as well. I know it's hard to explain, but I just really wanted to make another video uh, today because yeah, a lot of a lot of thoughts uh, with that kind of video. But anyway, uh, we're going to be pressing into the next game here with this team. Uh, Jose Carlos is going to be starting actually inside forward. Obviously brought in Amalfitano, but he's actually yeah, out of the squad today uh, because we're bringing Luis Ramirez. They're two really similar players, can play the same kind of positions naturally. So it's a bit interesting. And I think this will be the team. Uh, oh yeah, Stefan Lex, he told me he wanted to play more, but then I just said I'm going to sell him, and there's a few uh, interested teams, uh, but the transfer window is just about to end, so we'll see if anyone makes an offer, uh, potentially after this game, we'll just have to see, yeah, how that uh, pans out really, so, yeah, uh, where, what are we going to do uh, here, we've got to see the options uh, in this game, um, obviously, uh, you can see the opposition instructions applied by a very good assistant manager <laughs> with the tactical knowledge and judging ability. Uh, I've said it before, he's probably been the best I've had uh, for that kind of thing in oh, a really long time. Uh, we need to avenge what happened last time. Obviously, previous time we played HSV, we didn't really get a good result. You know they've had a quality season, so we're going to have to do something uh, special today away from home, most definitely. Uh, to get the result, it's not going to be easy. Okay, Sutton up with the throw-in. He's back for today's game starting. You know, Suarez, uh, he's on trying to play him in some games at least. Kihun, Roger, gets forward. And he's done that a couple times. You can see that's his second goal of the season. Surprisingly, just playing a ball-winning midfielder role, he does make some occasional runs forward. And he can score. He's done that a couple times this season. And four important goals. I see two goals. It's not that important. But those two goals could result in six points in the league, really, with some important wins. That goal's so important for the rest of the game now. So the rest of this half has been going along pretty well. We haven't really been conceding many chances. Even though HSV have had four shots on target, Obviously, they haven't been too key because they haven't showed them. Uh, we're just going to concentrate. Yeah, hopefully, we can go into half time with this lead. And this, oh, if we get a win here, it will still give us confidence. I'll be back to that point again. <laughs> we, you know I talk about it now because it keeps happening. Maybe I lose a couple games like, oh, no. Let's just try and say, stay safe this season. But then I win a game or two and like, oh, we can still get Europa League. I think it may be like that for the rest of the season. But we'll go assertively. It's, it's so good to score that goal and just defend well. We've improved in that side of the game. Okay, Kachunga's looking stressed. 
I'm just going to say you weren't that bad, but you can improve. I have faith in you. Eh, it doesn't really affect him, but you will push into the second half now. And you can see HSV did actually make a change at half time. They basically just switched up their strikers. Uh, they make it, I have a feeling, ooh, that was uh, well defended. It's like he passed it straight to Sutner there. And now it's gross. Finds Kihoon. Oh, Kihoon played all, play it through. Not the best pass. And they're going to be looking for a counter here. Hunt. Shiplock. He's the man who came on. Vla. Vla. And Hunt. It was something I was going to say at the start of the highlight, but I thought we were going to mount an attack. Uh, I could feel they would come out after half time, really fired up, and yeah, be pressing on, uh, pressing on for a goal. As you saw there, they did really well. And Muller, you can see the cross, perfect to Hunt. Uh, that just shows uh, their quality this season. They've been a really good team, and that shows in their league position. Uh, but come on, let's get this goal back. See, I still want to win here. We're playing away from home against a top four team this season. Kachunga, Roger. See, this is where I get excited. We have these uh, pieces of play during the game, some good passing. We just need to finish the opportunity. Oh, see, look at this. This is really good control. Wing play. Amazing. Bang, bang. There you go. Ali S. Kachunga, his eighth of the season. He feels like how he is or how he was before he got that injury. But how are that? How, the, the play by DaCosta and Roger. Uh, DaCosta is an absolutely fantastic player. Uh, still young, he's about 22, isn't he? So, so much years left in him. He's going to be such an important player for us as we push for Europe in future seasons. But again, come on, win this header. I'm not... <laughs> yeah, I can feel something coming here. Oh, it's going to be another cross. It's going to be another cross, ship lock. Oh, that was really well done. Number five, uh, that was Hubner. Did well. But we still have to... Even though we're winning the game, we still have to win the game, if that makes sense. We have to defend now. But they have got an opportunity. It's Holtby. Oh, that wasn't the best pass by Holtby. That's why he doesn't play in the Premier League anymore. <laughs> oh, Roger clears that. Really important to make a important change. Oh, who are we going to take off? Who are we going to take off here? I'm not really sure. You got Pascal Gross or Jose Carlos. Probably haven't been the best performers today and probably are realistic. Uh, players and realistic options to change. Um, or Key Hoon, potentially. I think I'm going to bring on Julian Green. We'll bring a bit of pace um, onto the left side of the wing. And yeah, maybe. I'll say no pressure on him. He's a young lad, so he'll seem relaxed uh, from that talk. And yeah, last 30 minutes, he's the kind of player that could make an impact in a game at this point. Even if we're winning and we're not exactly chasing a goal, he could still provide that danger and cause... HSV some problems when they're trying to attack themselves but still saying that we'll go assertively and tighten up I said concentrate before but now we'll say tighten up make sure yeah, defensive game is tight everything like that uh, DaCosta great I guess yeah Roger and DaCosta both have yeah, done something in terms of a goal or assist so that's resulted in their rating but yeah we oh we have a real opportunity now who are we going to take off I think Jose Carlos and we'll bring on Luis Ramirez. And maybe this the third change. Third change. Oh, you don't... There's occasions like this where you don't really want to. I'll take off Pascal Gross and I'll bring on Alfredo Morales. But then we'll put, yeah, Boeing in midfield up. Uh, both quality in that role. Yeah, I'll leave them both on support. So maybe defend, but nah, we'll be careful. And even the fullbacks will... Be responsible. Be responsible now and put them on defend. We gotta, you gotta be smart about it at this point in time. And maybe Roger, I'll put on the defend role instead. And Alfredo Morales, I think he's a bit more attacking player slightly. And then we'll go on defensive. Again, we gotta, we gotta play for the points now. We gotta waste time a little bit, even though I'm not a huge fan of that. It's just. Uh, the way it has to be, and I suppose we'll go more direct passing. We'll play more a counter style actually now, so high tempo when we get the ball. But yeah, for the most part, uh, we want to be defending the leads because this will be a really big three points. That's why we show, even if we concede a late goal here, we show that we're good enough at least to beat a team that's won a lot of games this season. They're, they're, well, they're fourth. They're, they're a good team. Just to remind you <laughs> and remind myself they're fourth so they're a top four team this season and we're in a position to beat them obviously we haven't been too consistent in that way if we were we'd probably be top four ourselves if we beat these kind of teams consistently but 
five minutes remaining. We look like we're going to hold... Oh, this will be a big win. Oh, no. No, don't do it like this. Not like this. Not like this. See, I knew it was coming. We deserve that point. And I'm probably not overreacting because I'm recording this a bit uh, <laughs> a bit late. Uh, but, yeah, got to be a bit quiet. So, I'm... <laughs> oh, no. No. I could have... Yeah, I could have definitely saw myself reacting huge to that on a different occasion. I just wish that one more minute tick passed. <laughs> Why couldn't it? Why couldn't it? Unless we score here. I'm not sure if there'll be a goal or not. I'm not sure... Oh, come on. We deserve this win. Come on. Kachunga. Ramirez. I don't know. It's, it's not... Really? But once again, it's a conceded goal from a corner. Even though I'm working on defending set pieces, clearly um, that doesn't matter. I guess... Oh, I'm surprised they're delighted with that. I'd be really disappointed at this point in time. Obviously, it's good to get the result, but that should be three points. So you can see here an offer has been made for Danilo Suarez. And if he still doesn't want a new contract, yeah, I think, I guess it's best intentions just to let him go. Even though going into this save, starting it, I thought he could be a good player for me. But sometimes yeah, that happens in Football Manager. It wouldn't be the first time that it just didn't work out with that player. Just didn't get chances, but he had an injury at the beginning, so that yeah plagued him. And that's just football. That that's happened before as well, so not that surprising. Uh, but it's unfortunate. Yeah, and that is hundred percent confirmed. Now he's going to move on at the end of the season, which is good. That's a good thing because he can still play if we need him as a backup left back for this season. That's good, and we can look for replacements. We'll worry about it next season. We don't need to worry about it right now, so that's all good. Yes, it's finally happened. I'm almost excited now as a win. It's probably better than a win. Oh, gross. He's decided to stay now. Does that mean he wants to listen to a new contract? Should I go right away? Leave your thoughts in the comments, because his contract doesn't run out to the end of the following season, so I think it will be wise to give him a new contract before this season ends, though. Because I don't want him to head to, yeah, 12 months remaining. So, leaving your thoughts, should I? I probably should, but I want to, yeah, think about it a little bit. Uh, it's how much to give him. Obviously, yeah, negotiate his contract a little bit. And accept requests. Poh, 100% gross. I knew it would happen. Whether it be he can see us playing well or that no one else made an offer. Bauer, anyway, I'm going to speak to him. Ugh, leave to get first. I could send him out on loan, I think. Well, what am I going to say? I can't offer you regular first table weather moment, but I see you avail part of my long-term plans. I'll try and sort out a loan. Okay, yeah, that will be great because he's a good age for a loan. He's 20, isn't he? Yeah, 20. He's going to be 21 in April as well, so not too far away. Um, yeah, I think it's a good time. He's available for loan. So if someone, yeah, wants to, <laughs> yeah, pick him up, he's that kind of player that could do well with a loan spell. But guys, now it's a really important game to get into. Uh, Darmstadt at home. They've really dropped this season. They started well. They <laughs> Didn't they beat us at the start of the season from my memory? I just remember losing against them. You can see 5-0. That was ridiculous. I, I didn't even think it was that bad, but <laughs> it was bad. So we need to... Like, you cannot see this happening. You can't see us losing 5-0 against a team that's 17th at home. This is where we just have to turn it around. So... Uh, we'll just go to uh, the tactics now, uh, see a team for today. Not too many changes, but I'm thinking yeah, Amalfitano has just come onto the bench for today's game for Luis Ramirez. It just got to, yeah, we've got to equally kind of rotate them. They're so similar. I don't know who's the better player, really. I think Amalfitano would be slightly, uh, but in the games we've played so far, Luis Ramirez has shown a bit more, but he's got a bit more match sharpness. So I'll give, hopefully, Amalfitano some game time uh, so he can increase, but... Yeah, the game we just played, we played, I think, as best as we could have. And we probably should have got the three points. So, I'm pretty confident with the 11 that got the job done in this game. But, yeah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's actually pressure on this game, I feel. <laughs> uh, I do feel there's pressure on this game uh, to get the three points. Uh, assertively... We'll say you're keen to avenge it. We said last time, and the thing is, we did have a good game. We had a good game. 
we just let it slip late with a late corner. But I'm not going to put that on the players. I feel that's a completely other side of thing why we conceded that goal. I won't go into it too much, but yeah, corners, late set pieces in like the final minutes. In a way, out of control, but we're we're getting past that. We're moving past it, but it is annoying. We've had good possession here, so that's a good sign. I like to create something early, get an early goal, and hopefully continue with that. But yeah, we need to get that goal first. Maybe, yes, a late goal in half would be nice. Pliddle, he's been so good, you know, this season. Da Costa, can he create another goal? Went very close, went very close, and it finally finds its way into the back of the net. Good strike, Ki Hoon. I'll have to say, Ki Hoon has been inconsistent this season. When he has been bad, or I don't want to say he's been bad. When he hasn't stepped up, he's been really quiet in games. But then, when he's good, he's been very, very good. Some assists he's created, uh, goals he's created, and then goals he's scored. Whew, that strike, he just shows his individual quality there. So again, an opportunity to go in, half-time, winning 1-0. Again, I'm not pleased with the performance at all. It wasn't amazing. We just got a good goal late. So again, assertively... Uh, yeah, don't get complacent, but it says keep focused as well, so it gains focus, and they've still got, yeah, that in mind of not to, yeah, concede goals, hopefully, but yeah, to keep focus, very important, uh, going to the second half. Okay, so it has been one of those games so far, there hasn't been an incredible amount of key highlights, but we got to be careful here, it's, this is a key, there's key highlights, and then there's really key highlights, because they could score from this. We need to defend it. Ooh, yeah, what I went by, it could have went either way or the other way where no one scores. But yeah, if one of us scored, it would just change the complexion of the game. 2-0, uh, look good to win. If we conceded that 1-1, the game is completely up for grabs for both teams. Well, Kachunga hasn't made a big impact, but I'll leave it. He's probably got one of the better conditions, or he does, uh, for the game today. So, ooh, Jose Carlos, maybe? Um, Amalfitano, yeah. Jose Carlos hasn't done too much, and then we'll change it up to winger, just go support, and we'll see if he can provide something, I still, I still want that second goal, we're at home, don't forget, should be chasing that, to, yeah, kill off this game, but again, it's Roger, who's playing a great game, what's that, 7.8 rating, he just gets the job done, he plays his role for the team, and, oh, he does it so well, I always have those kind of defensive midfielders that do their job. I suppose it's easier. Like, you get to have a good defensive midfielder, good defensive stats. It's really... It's probably easier to, um, yeah, get better ratings. Like, he's not our best-rated player in terms of attributes in the team. That's for sure. But he performs like he is, <laughs> almost. Um, I'm actually going to take Kachunga off here, and we'll bring on Pekka, and then we'll change to a target man. Have more target man role and put supports as... Oh, no... He's, see, he's better as support than opposed to attack. So I just want to see how that affects. I haven't actually tried that too often, I think. He's usually just on attack. I'm just thinking, could we make one more change? Roger. He's been so good, but I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Morales is going to come on. And hopefully, yeah, he can yeah put in the same performance. But he's... Oh, yeah, I hate taking Roger off. But sometimes you have to be a bit mindful and make sure he doesn't get another yellow Sure, you can say calm down. Remember, I did that last time. He got a red card anyway. Or the second yellow anyway. And he was sent off. And just we'll continue that with a team talk and say concentrate here, lads. Focus on the job at hand. 15 minutes remaining. Don't concede another late goal. <laughs> Please. And as soon as I say that, there's a highlight. And they're on the attack. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we are so lucky there. So only five minutes remaining now. We should really be holding on to the points. Uh, once again, we... Uh, I don't know. We'll say we dominated this game. Our chances haven't been too clear. You see zero click at chances of both teams. But we had nine shots on target. And Darmstadt only on it. I had two. I would have liked to score a few more goals. But yes, <laughs> there's no late goal in this game. I would imagine anyway. Because there's only like 20 seconds remaining when the highlight started. Goals don't usually come from this. As you can see there, I wasn't even worried, and they were in attack. But if there was... Ooh, no, nothing. Plus three. Plus three. No way. Not like this. Yeah, it's offside. I was yeah thinking that couldn't be a goal, surely. That couldn't be a goal. Uh, we get the three points. A bit nervy late once again, but it was a good win. I'll say that. Just I'm not going to say, oh, 
that we're a bit lucky or something. No. We got three points we needed, and we hold our position. You see the difference from 11 and 12th, five points. That's really crucial at this point in the season. But guys, I'll finish up this episode here. Uh, it was pretty good, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, like, we got a draw against HSV. They were fourth when we played them. Now they dropped down to fifth. And arguably, we could have got three points. But, yeah, we're forgetting about that now. And Darmstadt at home got three points. Again, that's what we wanted. And then Hoffenheim, we've got them in the cup in the next episode. So watch out for that. And again, uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, on the previous video I made, yeah, it was a great response to that. And I'm really happy about you guys that really enjoyed that kind of video uh, for me. And, of course, I got a couple of rare people that didn't enjoy it. And they're just going to yeah, miss out on the journey we're going to have here as we yeah, press on to 100k subscribers. And you guys that want to be part of it, yeah, um, I really appreciate that. So drop a like on the video for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.